Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to use the area target option of Vuforia engine. In our previous videos, we discussed how to configure Vuforia engine with Unity. If you did not watch those videos, you can click on the link in the description box below and watch them. Area target works by 3D scanning a certain area and providing it to the software and then being able to view 3D objects and text which we place in that area in the real world when we scan it. First, you should go to Unity and create a scene and add the AR camera option from the Vuforia engine options. You should also add the area target game object from the area target options of the Vuforia engine options by right clicking on the hierarchy window. Afterwards, we will have to scan an area. We require a device with a LiDAR sensor to do so. We can use an iPad for this. Open an iPad and open the App Store and search for Vuforia Area Target Creator and download it. You should then open the app. After opening it, you should click OK and create a database by clicking the plus mark. You should then log in to your Vuforia development account. You should then provide a name for the database of the area you will scan. I have named mine Test Room. I will now begin scanning our area. After we are done scanning, we should click the stop button to create a new data set by clicking generate. You can see the database being generated. You should then click done to finish off. You can then connect the iPad to a laptop or computer and get that database. The database will be received as a folder called Test Room. When you click on this folder, you will see a Unity package called Test Room. You should import this Unity package. After importing it, you should click Area Target here. You will be able to see that you can add databases here. The databases and Area Target options are empty for now. You can select the database that you created from the drop-down list next to Database. I will select the Test Room option from here. You will see that the area target option has also been changed to test room. You can see the scan of the room we 3D scanned here. There will be a few glitches in some places, but there will be no issues with our app due to these glitches. You can see the main features of the room here. You can scan any rooms or halls in any building and create a guide app which includes navigations and equipment labels. So it is useful in such instances. I'm going to label some of the things in this room and place a car on top of this table. I have added a 3D object of a car here and named the objects using TextMesh Pro.
The 3D objects that we are adding should be added as child objects of area target. We can now build this and install it to our phone. We should click on File and go to Build Settings. We should open the scene that we created here. You should then change the platform to Android. You should also go to Player Settings and change some of the settings here. Under the Configuration options, the scripting backend should be changed to IL2 CPP and the target architecture should be ARM64. The minimum API level should be changed to a more recent Android version like Android 8.0. The newer Vuforia packages will not be compatible with older versions of Android, so you should select a version like Android Oreo. The target API level should be automatic. I will now build this. This is the final output of the APK that we built. You can see that when we go to the room that we scanned and point our phone camera at it, we can see the 3D objects that we placed in augmented reality. I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers. So please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.